Okay, dear student, let us see what is there in this question now. A pipe containing air is closed at one end and open at the other. The third harmonic standing wave for this pipe has a frequency of 150 hertz. What other frequency is possible for the standing wave in this pipe? So we have to see now. Clearly, uh, one end of the pipe is closed and one end is open. So in this case, we know that the general formula for this is given by N into V divided by 4L because one end is closed and one end is open where N can be only odd number. So even harmonics are absent. Even harmonics are absent. So only odd harmonics are present. So first harmonic could be there. The next will be the third harmonic and the next will be the fifth harmonic. Likewise, you can even go for the sixth. And likewise, you can just go for the odd number harmonics. Even number of harmonics are not present because this is uh, a pipe which is closed at one and open at the another. It is like that only. So it says that the third harmonic, so the frequency three, that is three times V divided by 4L, this value is equal to 150. So this will be equal to three times the fundamental frequency, that is the first frequency. Clearly, the first frequency will become 50 hertz, like 150 divided by 3. So it means that if you refer to the first harmonic, your frequency will be 50 hertz. For the third harmonics, it will become multiplied by 3. And for fifth, it will be multiplied by 5. And 5 5 is 25, it will become 250 hertz. For seventh, it will be 7 5 is 35. So that will be 350 hertz. And this is how it will keep on moving the table we can create these are all the possible frequencies for the standing wave in this pipe now out of all these possible value only 50 hertz is given in our options other options are not there it 50 will be correct answer 250 will be correct answer 350 would be a, would be the correct answer but in our case 50 hertz is given so according to this the answer for this question will be b so this is how we do this question and also my dear student, this is one more piece of information that I can share here. Uh, this is when one end is open, uh, closed at one end and open at the other end. Many a times this formula is not written like this. So there is a catch. There was another question I remember. In this, like if you are going to write this like this, we have to say that n is an odd number. Otherwise, it, there is a, another fancy way of writing. 2n minus 1 v divided by 4l where n is the element of natural number like this or you can call it 2n plus 1 so it is known as the kind of uh, n is all the natural number but you would be using 2n minus 1 so sometimes the formula is given in this way sometimes the formula is given in this way but this way is definitely better definitely uh, easy to understand and apply in your question so this is how we do this question this is professor Varun. let us see the answers for this by the way um answer is uh, okay what question uh, was that i think it was a uh, question number 11 yes the answer for this is b okay dear students so this is how we do this question thanks for watching the video please share the video with all your friends all the best bye